Today we're going head to head with a multi-species fishing challenge. There we go. I tried to take a shortcut and this is what happens. Ain't bad. I'm back. Hallelujah. They're both getting hit. Whoever catches the first bass, panfish, and catfish will win. Catch to this is we cannot fish for more than one species at a time. Oh, okay. So no having your catfish rod out while you're pan fishing or bass fishing. You gotta catch one species at a time. It'll be up to you what you wanna focus on and when. Let's get started and see which one of us can work the fastest. Let's get this party started. You guys can see it is a lot of funky grass right here that is washed up. So um, I was planning on walking out to start with a bass, but I am not walking through that because no, that's just, that's not happening. So we might move, scooch on over this way a little bit, or I may walk around the grass that way and try to get out there past it and target bass out there. We'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. It looks like Maddie is starting off with the panfish. All right, while Ray's talking to the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and knock off my panfish right over here. This is where I usually catch them. Just gotta get my bait in these little holes here. I'm gonna go over here and clip her line, cut it real quick. <laughs> I don't need to do that. I don't need to play dirty. Yeah, right. Usually they're all up in here. And I'm just gonna be using this right here. I think this will be all we need to get a bass. Little natural colored um, worm. Look at all the minnows, y'all. That is crazy. It's like minnow central. Oh, the water's cold. Colder than I thought it would be. If we can just get this bass knocked off, we can move on. Wonder how Maddie's doing. We've got to find panfish and hurry up and get that knocked off of the list. Hopefully she's not already caught a panfish. Have you caught a panfish? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, there's a bite. Dang it. Ooh, I do not want to walk along the edge of this grass if something pops out and bites my leg. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would do. But I promise you there would be a reaction, a very strong one. There's some things in this river, y'all. Telling All right, we're back to the like shallow section. That's good. There we go. Panfish. We got a rock bass, a tiny baby rock bass. So panfish can be marked off. Dang, buddy. You really wanted that. There we have it. Maddie's over there making progress and I'm just over here walking through funk. <laughs> Let's go ahead and send him home. That being hard to get today, I'm telling y'all. It's not bad, ew, it's like a whole pile of grass moving in on me. Don't touch me. Why is that so creepy to me? Ooh. All right, I want out of this water like bad. All right. Now I'm gonna get my catfish pole rigged up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and put our liver on the catfish rod. Our liver is uh, a little old, so I was like, you know what? I'm definitely gonna wear gloves. So I don't have to smell that on my hands for the rest of the day. I'll try to throw this, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna be um, chumming the area with this. That's probably gonna fly off. But let's give it a shot. It's a tropical storm heading our way. We gotta get all the fishing we can done right now. That might have flown off. I'm not too sure. Right, let's go through this grass. I'm gonna try to walk back this way. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake. I don't wanna touch this grass. It's so creepy. <laughs> Please, dear Jesus. Please. I tried to take a shortcut and this is what happens. Okay, okay. Be strong, right? Be strong. You can do this, girl. I'm back. Hallelujah. I'm gonna kiss the rocks. It's a lot of grass right here. I'm thinking we need to be right there in that little cove. Hey, 
Let's go over there. I've been through some things. No fish to show for it, but oh, I don't even know. We're gonna move over here on the opposite side of this grass, over here on this side of the bridge. Try to catch me a little panfish. We're gonna get back to the bass. But right now I feel like it would be smartest to go after panfish. I'm gonna make it through the jungle first. What an eventful journey it's been already. I'm gonna go to the tip of this little place right up here. Check this out. Got a creek feeding them. We're gonna cross. This is probably gonna be super sinky mud. Yeah. Check this out. Here we go. This cast it out now. Looks like right here is a really deep drop off, so we don't have to send it far to get um, to a deep hole or anything. So that's kind of cool. So let's see what happens here. All right, let's see if we can get some panfish really quick on the old white trout magnet. I want to head back this way because I feel like it is going to be the best area to catch a panfish. They're going to be tucked down under all this funk. I don't even know if my bobber is going to cast into it. Like sitting on top of it, it seems. Don't do this to me, panfish. You're supposed to be super easy and quick. We might be getting a hit already. I don't, it might be the wind. 25 mile per hour wind gusts today. Don't really see any areas we can cast at. It's gonna be difficult. Let's try to drop it in like right here in this little hole. It's probably what Maddie did, I'm gonna guess. Nothing. Let's go ahead and reel this in, check on it. See if we even have any bait left on it. Still a little bit on there, not much. I'm gonna put more on there. Gotta drop it perfectly in that hole. Keep this grass off of it. This isn't painful. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. It's like ice fishing. All right, I think we got a bite. Yep, we're gonna bite, yes. Okay, that's a good sign. Ah, no, we had one. There we go. Please take it. Take it under. Yes. The tiniest panfish ever, but we got that species knocked off the list. And this is a little green sunfish. Look at that little cutie. Thanks buddy, you helped me get past panfish. Let's get him right back in. There he goes. We both kind of got caught up focusing on catfish, but we were coming back to, uh, to wade because it kind of occurred to us, as time goes on, that's when you're gonna wanna focus on the catfish, like as the sun starts to set. Now is the time to focus on the bass. I think it's a lot smarter to do things this way. So here we go back. And this time Maddie's with me, so even though we're against each other, it feels a lot less creepy having her out here too because, you know, there's always a chance if there's a river monster, it'll choose her instead of me and I'll have a chance to get away. <laughs> we won't tell her I said that. It's cold. Whew. You don't think this is freezing? It's like shockingly cold. I'm gonna go into hypothermia. My feet are gonna be numb by the end of this. Where do I go? This away. Uh, well, I went, I went the wrong way. Ooh. What? I sunk. Don't play like that. When you make sounds like that, I think a river monster's got us. They could, cause I can't see. Okay, there's a way around right here. I had a rock in my shoe, it's bad. They can find their way in, but they can't ever find their way out. I didn't want to fish out here because of the grass. My feet are frozen. Were you getting bites out here? Heck no. Uh, what the heck? Well, this is where they're at. How do you know?
fish right there. It's gonna happen. Ooh. No. That was a good bite too. Please come back. What happened? I jerked too soon. Missed him again. Dang, they're biting now. That is okay. We'll get the next. I'm like a fish trying to find warmer water. <laughs> Thought I had a fish. Our hunt continues for a bass so that we can kick Maddie's. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say it, and I didn't. Is it current seam out there? That's what I've been casting at. I think it's gonna be our best shot. Ooh, did you see that big beast out there, Job? That was a big smallie. I'm ready to get out of this water. I'm freezing. I'm about to go back up that way and catfish. Oh, he's biting. He ain't bad. He might not be as good as I thought. These smallmouth just fight so hard. Stay down. He's trying to jump. Yes, bass checked off. Been looking for you, girl. Tire her out a little bit. Not huge. Just trying to tire her out because she's feisty. Just gonna have to flip her. She's not huge. Real pretty fish though. Y'all look at that. Bass checked off. In your face. In your face. For a river smallmouth in this area, this one's not bad. Is it a giant? No, but it's pretty good. And you know what? Most importantly, it's a bass, and we can check that off the list now. Now all we have left to do is catch a catfish. Look at this beauty, though, y'all. Look at the patterns on her. Under the water, it was just so cool looking. Could really see them. What a beauty. On to the next. You just got lucky. <sighs> I want to get out of this water. Let's get out of this water, and now we're going to move on to our third and final species, and that is a catfish. It's still any woman's game. It can go either way. I think we went the wrong way. I can't see nothing. You're like leaving a trail of fog. Right. It's just sand. All right, almost back to the bank. Catch you guys when we get up here. We're going to get our catfish rod rigged up and we're gonna get it casted out while Maddie picks. She can continue with bass or she can uh, move on to catfish and come back to bass. That bass was a little bit more challenging to catch than I thought he was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie, but that is okay. We got the job done and in the end that's all that matters. So sit this pole over here. We have some funky, nasty, gross liver in here that I have not been wanting to touch at all. But you know, we're gonna have to. So let's get it over with quick. Put some liver on, get it casted out, and hopefully it doesn't take a long for a big, or a little, we don't care, hungry catfish to come along and gobble it up and get hooked in the lip and let me really man, document him and let him go. That's all we want. And I'm just rocking with the littlest weight I can possibly get away with. I think it's like half an ounce, maybe one ounce, something like that. No more than one ounce though. And this little circle hook. I'm just gonna slap a big glob of this funky, disgusting nastiness on here. Nasty. But that's what showers are for. So just can't touch any part of my body for the rest of this trip now because we have touched this disgusting stuff. Let's get it out here. Hopefully we can get a fish pretty quick. Let's see, I don't know how shallow it is right there. But we are gonna find out. I had a stick. Okay, here it is. Let's put this in the ground. I don't know how soft this ground is. There we go. And now we wait. We'll give this spot like about 15 minutes. If we don't get any action at all, we'll move on and we'll keep on hitting down, trying different little spots on this section of the river until we find a spot where we're getting some action. 
All right, so throw around this little med bait. It's freezing. It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm probably gonna move on. And um, there's another little island, kind of Maddie's standing on one of them, but there's another smaller one beside it. Probably gonna go hang out right there. And at least I can taunt her a little bit if I catch one in the face. <laughs> All right, let's pack up and go. I've gotten one bite in, let's see, two, about three hours, and it was a rock bass. Y'all, it's a little spot I'm going to set up shop at. I think it looks uh, pretty good. Um, let's get this out there. We have a little deep spot right here in this point. All of this, I think it, it looks like a promising area for a catfish. This stick does not look promising though. We're gonna try to make do with it the best we can. Do that'll work. I guess I'm just gonna catfish too. I can't catch a bass. Did you get a bite? The rod tip bent. The wind will start blowing, and I can't tell the difference between that or what's the wind and what's a bite. Eh, come on, fish. I just don't think fish are biting yet. We made a unanimous decision to switch spots. Maddie said she is not having any luck with the bass. I'm not having any luck with the catfish. So we'll be on the same little stretch of river just further down that way, and we're gonna try a different spot and um, hopefully I can bring in the victory. So we are at spot number two and I have some catching up to do, so let's get it. Hopefully I can get this catfish and uh, knock Maddie out of the competition. I don't really like want to knock her out. I added a little extra sinker on, even though it kind of looks like I didn't really need to. This current isn't moving too fast. I'm gonna put some liver on this uh, hook right here. We're gonna get it casted out and hopefully we can hurry up and get a catfish before Maddie gets a bass. We're gonna try this little fluke out here. First cast in the tree. <laughs> I don't think she's getting anything right now but a tree. You good? Yeah, I almost broke my rod too. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's get this rigged up. Ew. I'm just gonna cast out probably right over here. Here we go, please don't fly off. Plop, right there work. All right, and we're gonna sit back, keep a close eye on this, and hopefully we get a fish very, very soon. If that doesn't work, there's a little spot on the other side of these rapids right here that we'll be try. You didn't see that fish jump over there, did you? I did, yeah. I was already casted out there. You're lying. It really felt like something bumped into it. Ooh, something big over there just waked. It's around where my bait's casted at too. Hopefully it's a big old hungry catfish. Oh, I had one. I just had a bite, I missed it. You might have gotten poked. They're like jumping. Have you gotten any bites? Got our first confirmed hit on the catfish rod. So happy with that. Ended up casting it right over in this area. Now we're actually getting at least some action. That's a good sign. Hopefully she comes back for it and she's not just teasing me. She over there catching everything but fish. Catching other people's tackle? A bunch. What'd you catch? A bunch of hooks. Ugh. Well, look at there. You caught a clam. It's gross. I know, it looks like shit, but I will take the sinker. I gave it a few minutes. I'm gonna make sure this guy did not steal our bait. Son of a, just gonna use up all the liver. 
trying to catch a single catfish. I think I'm gonna try to knock my catfish out. You wanna move? I'm gonna go ahead and walk right over there on the other side of those rapids. All right, this is still any woman's game. We are not moving fast here. Good thing this is not a race in like the Olympics or anything because we would not win. <laughs> Just a race against each other for fun. <sighs> we can do this. All the trash to throw away. Just drop it in the liver bag for now. Here we go. Let's go on a little walk. Look at that storm cloud up there though. Hopefully that doesn't break right over our heads. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side of these little rapids over here. Somebody up at that playground is not happy. But anyways, we're gonna mind our business. Let's get this catfish. It's really cloudy right now. The sun's actually, I can't tell if it's setting or just cloudy or both. But this should be a good time to catch a catfish. What the? Do you need a laptop? I wonder what's on it. Maddie went back to bass fishing, but um, I'm keeping her catfish right out. You know, we said you could only target one species at a time, but we didn't say you could double your chances for a single species. So, I'm catfishing. Thank you, Millip. I can't catch a bass. No. Ooh, they both got hit at the same time. I'm not even kidding. Well, it might have hit one and then shook the cinder block. No, I saw both lines and everything. I'm telling you, they both got hit. I'm taking a break from bass fishing. Got my rod out. Ray's got her rod out. We'll see what happens. One eternity later. Which one was it? They're both getting hit. Oh my God. I think yours is on, Maddie. Yeah. God. Well, guys. Oh. He popped off. Yeah, because I don't have no drag on this anymore. It sticks where we went to the beach. That was a beast, too. That crippled your pole. Oh, everything broke off. That's weird. That's very weird. What was that? Catfish wouldn't have done that through that braid. That is weird. Y'all, this is 50 pound braid. What? I don't know. Snapping what? turtle? It felt heavy, like it felt huge. I see it crippled your pole. But it was hitting like a catfish. That's just weird. I don't know. Dang, I gotta I rig no a whole freaking leader and everything now. I have no words. That no. Was super weird. <sighs> Wasn't meant to be. You had it. I just whatever it was. We got one. Went catfishing and caught a cat. You are so cute. She likes me better. This fish might end up being on very soon. Are you my good luck charm? This fish have not come easy. We really have to work for what we are getting. Every bite. Every time my fishing line gets bit, it trips this little guy out. What is it? I'm gonna um, reel my pole in and check the liver. It's been hit a few times. And I'm afraid that it might have been stolen. To find out. No. We got snagged. Hopefully we can save this. Oh man, we did not save our hook. I'm gonna use your pole for now because I broke off. Is that okay? Oh yeah. You're still here? Since we caught a cat, do I win? Mm. Do you see that? He might be on. Yeah. I think he popped off. No, he didn't. Come on, baby. I know, I'm scared of it. Feels like he come off again. No, he didn't. Come on now, baby. Let's win this. Stay on, please. I need you. <laughs> and we just won, finally. Uh-oh, our little kitty friend is like, what? the heck is that? At this point, somebody needed to win. Finally. Look how fat it is compared to its little head. Here, you want to see it? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. 
You're both cats, just different types of cats. All right, let's not stress the fish or the cat out anymore. Let's get this baby back in. Thank you for helping me win this game. Thanks, baby. Sweet. About time, guys. That took long enough. We've been at this all day now. So, that's game. We finished just in time because the sun has officially set. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Enjoy, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us.